Hello, my name is Flanora Merritt, and I'm reporting for Friendship News Network. I am here with one of our legendary alum here. Let's see, football, posse scholar, achievers winner, class president, came ranked number three after me. Um, am I missing some? I just did a lot of stuff. Was, yeah, I did a lot. I know. And, oh, that's right. You also did modeling and... Oh, like what was the uh for what was the fraternity program? Kappa League program, yes. Okay, I I knew it was like something like that, but I couldn't pull it. So, uh, you are a graduate of Bucknell University, and um, last time I heard that you were up in New York working for J P Morgan. Uh, yes. After I graduated, I worked. Uh, well, right out of college, I worked for J.P. Morgan. I've been there for the last three years, and uh, I started out in New York, and I migrate. I helped to migrate the team to Delaware. Okay, so um, what is your occupation, per se? Uh, I'm still an analyst, um, so just, you know, number crunching, data crunching, things like that, process improvements, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Okay, so um, you're here, you're back at Alumni Day here at uh, Collegiate, so what is your, what's your role here? during this day uh today i really wanted to uh let the well first talk to the kids to see for the upcoming seniors juniors where their minds are as far as going towards college um kind of dispel some rumors around what the first year is going to be like what the transition is going to be like um and also give them a uh, help to give them like a different outlook you know sometimes people uh, give college a, you know, a negative stereotype depending on what schools you go to and what they're good for, things like that. Um, so I just wanted to come in, give them my view, see where their heads are at, um, and help to guide them. You know? Now, of course, you were part of this fraternity program here at Collegiate. What are some of the benefits of being part of fraternity? Uh, yes, yeah, so I was a part of the, I was a part of the uh, Kappa League Mentor Program while I was at Collegiate. Um, and once I graduated from Collegiate, I ended up joining Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Um, and I mean, the benefits are the same as uh, any other network or club or anything like that in terms of um, exposure. Um, and I, I think that's really one of his greatest assets is exposure to um, a group of like-minded individuals who you know, share similar passions um, and who are making strides in their fields. Oh, okay, so um, what advice would you give to some of our students here at Collegiate? Uh, the biggest, well, the best piece of advice that I feel I gave today um, was that when going forward and going to college, um, don't chase money. Like a lot of people will tell you to go into these different fields, um, you know, the STEM field, science, uh, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, but if your passion's not there, then um, it, it's going to be very difficult for you to do well. Uh, so my biggest advice was to follow your passions, um, you know, if, if it's pottery, if it's, you know, science, if it's music, because if you're the best at what you do and you put forth the effort, then you'll see returns. Like, you, you will be able to make it profitable. Okay, and can you give them some financial advice? Because I have some students that will spend all their money on payday, and I'm like, money don't grow on trees. I don't know what to tell them. Like, I, I think since you work at J.P. Morgan you know, maybe they may listen to you better, so. Uh, in terms of students, um, you know, when they have their jobs and stuff now, I would say to, uh, you know, just put your money away, open your general, you know, savings checking account, put money away, uh, learn early how to distinguish your wants from your needs. Um, and that's, you know, that's, that's a really big thing that'll help you going forward. Um, cause it doesn't make it matter how much money you end up making. If you're not financially literate and if you're not fiscally responsible, um, it's, you know, no amount of money will ever be enough. That's how you see millionaires, you know, they end up going broke, you know, trying to accommodate for their lifestyle and everything like that. So learn how to live within your means, um, and distinguish, uh, your wants from your needs. Okay. Great piece of advice. I hope they follow it. This is, I'm from Nora Merritt and this has been Friendship News Network. All I can say is I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you